Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And today's video is going to be about nodes and placing nodes precisely and manipulating, you know, like on a font, but really any object. So we're going to go to object. We're going to cut, uh, convert this font to a curve. Then I'm going to left click and right click so I have an outline. Now, when you add a font or add nodes and you want one, say, right in the middle of these two nodes, if you would just take your shape tool and select them both, right click your mouse or an add, or you can just select both those nodes and go right up here and add a node. It's gonna add a node exactly in the center. It's also gonna add one down here that we can delete. But this is where it kind of would help you if you were gonna uh, do something like we're fixing to do right here. I'm gonna bring an indexing line in and I have snap to object on, so if I got a node there, we're gonna zoom in a little bit more and get the shape tool. And I'm gonna set my nudge distance on point one. And I'm gonna get my shape tool and I'm gonna click on that node and I am gonna nudge it up point one of an inch. That's pretty far up there. Let's, let's go point zero one. So click off of it, get your pick tool. Let's go point zero one, trying to make a, uh, so you can have an idea how to do something like this, if you were ever gonna do it. So we're gonna point one. Now I'm gonna double click on that line again and add another node, and I'm gonna nudge it down. Then I'm gonna select these two nodes, I'm gonna put add, and it put one right in the middle. Now you could take your, you have to click off that with your pick tool to get back to your nudge. And let's make the nudge a half of an inch, 0.5. And we'll click back and get that center nudge. And using the left arrow key, I nudged it over a half of an inch. If you're ever gonna do anything like that. And that way it's precise and it's right in the center of your line. Now, let's say you wanted to do a bunch of them throughout the whole word. So I'm taking away all the nodes. I don't have any nodes left. We'll go ahead and delete that one node. What you can do, and you can notice that this line isn't in the center of the, the font's not in the center, but that's regardless right now. Let's get rid of that indexing line. And let's take a rectangle, the length of our font, and set it like on 0.1 thickness. And I've got my ratio locked, so it's not gonna make it any shorter. Hit enter. And then I'm gonna hit P, put it in the center of the page. And then what I can do, I can take my virtual segment delete key, and you could change that line. You could put it, you know, you could move it to the center of that object, but we don't really need to. I'm gonna take my virtual segment delete key, delete, and I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna to have to zoom in, take the delete and delete that line, delete that line, delete that line, delete that line. And this is where you could hit the, the H key on your keyboard and it'll get your hand, uh, your pan tool, and then just hit your space bar. Well, you don't have to and get your virtual segment delete key back. Sometimes it'll uh, change between one tool and the other a lot of times it won't. So all I'm doing is deleting this line, kind of breaking up. So I'm gonna hit the H and get my pan tool. So I'm still at the same zoom level. Get my virtual segment delete key back. Whoop, and see I went past my line. I hit one of the red lines. I don't have to do the whole thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole thing. Let's zoom in here again. And this is if you were gonna put the, that same line on all these letters. Now I can delete that box. So we've got a broken line between there. If we select them all, you actually have to select it with the pick tool. You can see all the nodes and then select it with, we can actually select just the center part Go up to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, 
And now I've set my on point two because this is point one. So it's going to join those curves. But the advantage is now I've got two nodes. I don't know if you can see them. I should have made them really bigger. Now if you, you could actually select, I'm only going to do a couple of letters. Let's do all these nodes right here. And let's add a node. So now I've got a node in the middle between the two I just added. We're going to make our nudge factor that half inch again. We're going to zoom in to our nodes, which it's hard to see right now, but there it is right there. And we're going to nudge that line over. We're going to go over here, get to that center one and nudge it with the left arrow key, nudge it with the left arrow key, nudge it with the left arrow key. That way, all these lines, if you were going to make a, a change of, and see you're like right here, we didn't do it. So go right there, add a node, grab that center one, left arrow key, left arrow key. And that's if you did all the letters and they would be on the same plane if that's what you wanted. Now you can always take that and fill it in with black and you see what we did. We changed the font and made a look, and I'm not saying you would ever do that, but there's occasions where you need to do something with a font. You could actually make this bigger and still nudge that out. And by making it bigger, to make it equal, our nudge factor still set on a half an inch. We can nudge that note up a half an inch, nudge that one down a half an inch, and then nudge this one over a half an inch. Do it twice. And you, you can totally change the font. Let's do the front side and then we'll be done. Nudge that node up, that node down. Of course, it's too big for the scenario of the letter, but you get the idea. Anyway, I hope that helped just a little bit. And thank you for watching.